Okay, our meeting gonna start in one minute. Okay, it's four o'clock now. Okay, shall we start? Okay, good morning and good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here and uh, thank you for joining us today. I uh, hope today's meeting will help you know more about our university and the programs on scholarships we're providing for international students. If you have any question, please uh, wait till we finish our meeting and uh, probably you will get the answer from our presentation and uh, the videos. Uh, after the meeting, if you still have any question, please leave a message on the chat box and we will reply you together after the meeting. Okay. And uh, today we also invite uh, Professor Wang Yaqing from College of Biotechnology and uh, Bioengineering and uh, Dr. Ge Jingyan and Dr. Chen Hanchi, also from College of Biotechnology and bioengineering to joining us today. And uh, uh, there's another professor, Wu Zhongting from College and College of Environment. Yes, he will also join us today. Okay, first of all, I'd like to uh, introduce ourselves. My name is Jing. I'm in charge of admissions and applications. And this is my colleague, uh, Hannah, she's, Hello. she's in charge of the scholarships for international students. Okay. And uh, uh, I don't know if you have been to Hangzhou before. Uh, our city is the capital city of Zhejiang province, and it is famous of its scenery and culture. But nowadays, it is famous of its development on economics and new industries. So we'd like to show you a short video about Hangzhou, so you may have a general idea about our city. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen now.
from啊，主持人不允许你们跟他分享，跟他说一下。Hello, can I share my screen now? Yeah, 可能把那个第一张截给删。And so, hello everyone. Welcome to welcome to our session. Uh, let me see. Okay, welcome to our session. That uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's going on here. Sorry, just give me a minute. Oh, finally, finally, finally. Okay, <laughs> so hello everyone, welcome to our session and we're from the College of Biotechnology and Bioengineering. And today we are glad to have you here and we have our professor, our uh, college chair, executive chair, uh, Dr. Wang with us. And uh, also we have Dr. Ge and uh, Dr. Tang are coming with us, joining us in our session. And uh, what I'll give you here is a brief introduction about our college and our program. And if you think our program is attractive, then you can get in touch with us uh, with, uh, with the email address. With the email address, you can see like at the bottom of this slide, cbb at cjut.edu.cn. And hopefully we can get you enrolled in our coming semester. Okay, so this is an outline of my presentation. Uh, first, I'll give an introduction about, about our major, which is biotechnology and bioengineering. So uh, I'll, what I'll talk about is what we can learn from this major and uh, what we can do uh, with the knowledge we learned here. And second part is the introduction about our college, uh, which is uh, the College of Biotechnology and Bioengineering and about our scales, our ranking, and some, some of our academic achievements. And for the third part, we will give, uh, give an introduction about uh, our programs. Basically, we have, uh, we'll have two programs for you to choose. Uh, the one is bioengineering, and the second is biotechnology. I'll show you what's the difference between these two programs, and uh, you can uh, choose the one that suits you better. 
And for the, for the uh, last part, what I'll give an uh, introduction about our campus life and see uh, how our beautiful campus and how our city will be, and just some of the activities we organize for our international students. And we really hope you to experience, uh, your experience in China will not only be about academics, but also to enjoy our splendid Chinese culture and uh, our uh, and your student life in uh, in our school. So for the first part, the uh, biotechnology and bioengineering, I'll give an introduction about our major. So basically, what we'll do about uh, do with this biotechnology uh, and bioengineering major is that uh, uh, we can uh, it's use the uh, it, uh, uh, it used the knowledge from biology and engineering to develop, uh, develop and produce useful and economically viable products and technologies that in, in point to uh, define and solve some real world problems uh, in areas such as uh, medical, agricultural material, food, energy, and many other fields. So, uh, uh, but, uh, but you may still feel blurry about our major uh, with only this definition. So I'll give you some exact examples, see what we can do here. So here are some examples. The first one, uh, I think most of you are very familiar of is biofuels. So biofuels, uh, uh, some examples are like uh, bioethanol and biodiesels. They are both produced uh, by some uh, biological substances. And uh, for bioethanol, as you know, that many, many countries are required uh, for the addition to our, uh, to our gasoline. For example, in China, in US, and also in Brazil, it's, it is mandatory to mix uh, the bioethanol with gasoline as a renewable energy sources. So uh, what they, uh, what they uh, want to achieve is that uh, they want to uh, use this biofuel to replace our traditional fossil fuel so we can really uh, uh, solve our energy crisis. And also for food, uh, we have many examples that uh, we use fermentation technologies for thousands of years to produce foods like uh, bread, cheese, beer, wine, and uh, they, all need to be, they all need to be processed by microorganisms. And if you have the chance to come to our school in Zhejiang, that we have a, a city nearby uh, named uh, Shaoxing that produces a special rice wine called the uh, yellow wine, called the yellow wine. And uh, we, uh, our college brings students to uh, their countries, uh, to, their, to their factories every year uh, for, for like practical, uh, for, for practical exercises. And you will have the chance to taste the, uh, their yellow wine. Uh, that are exclusively produced in the province of Zhejiang. And uh, for the third part, uh, third example I'll give you is biomaterials. And you may heard about this biodegradable plastic called uh, polylactic acid. So polylactic acid is precursor is lactic acid, which is, uh, which is uh, produced by a mic microorganism called lactobacillus. Uh, through fermentation. And uh, this is a very important uh, material that uh, we are hopefully to employ to solve our national, uh, to our in uh, international uh, white pollution problems. And for the last example I want to give you is that uh, now we have a lot of pharmaceuticals pr produced biologically. Uh, so uh, with this bio biological technology, we can produce these pre uh, precursors more efficiently than uh, chemicals, uh, some chemical synthesis roads. And uh, most of our ther uh, ther therapeutic uh, drugs, such as antibody vaccines, and those nucleic acid, uh, nucleic acid medicals are mostly in bioformulations, which means they are produced directly by cell culture. So for the second part, what I introduce here is uh, uh, about our uh, about our mate, uh, about our college, uh, College of uh, uh, Biotechnology and Bioengineering. So hopefully we can uh, get you enough reasons to come study this attractive major with us. So we have a uh, well, we have a long history that our college has been established for 40 years, and it starts with the 
uh, in the, it starts with the Department of Light Industry Engineering, and then it goes to the College of Biological and Environmental Engineering. And uh, in 2015, our college is renamed as the College of Biotechnology and Bioengineering. You can see that uh, our scope, uh, the scope of college become more and more uh, specialized, that we really want to uh, centralize our resources to become prominent in one field. So uh, here, uh, as you can see, the ranking of our uh, of our college as a biotechnology and bioengineering major in in the Zhejiang University of Technology is rising continuously from like uh, from like 19th place uh, in 2017 to the top of uh, to the top of China, the first place in 2020. Uh, to 2020, and also you can see our global ranking that our ESI is ranked at top 1% in biology and biochemistry. And now we have uh, uh, 96 faculties that uh, employed in our college and 20 of them are professors and we have 29 associate professors and 90 of our, 90% uh, 90 of, uh, 90 of our faculties are I, I have PhD degree. And basically every professor who give you uh, classes and also your advisors will be, will be doctors. And 50% of the faculties uh, are, have, have been studied abroad. So uh, they are very experienced in international education. And for, uh, for some top uh, scientists in our college, we have two exemptions uh, of the Chinese academic Academy of Academy of Engineering in our college. Uh, first is Professor Shen. Professor Shen is the, the honorary president of our university and who developed develop and industri uh, industrialized uh, the uh, industrialized uh, biopesticide named uh, vladimycin, vladimycin, which is a fungicide used to protect many crops such as rice, corns, and potatoes, uh, and so on. So. Professor Shen is honored as, uh, as a father of biopesticide in China, who's a very accomplished scientist. And the second professor uh, is uh, Dr. Chen. Dr. Chen is specialized in biocatalysis and microbiofermentation, who has successfully uh, industrialized several, uh, several biosynthesized pharmaceuticals, including Arcbos, which is, uh, uh, which is a medical to treat uh, to treat uh, diabetes and also uh, and also imipenem, uh, which is an antibiotic. Uh, Dr. Chen has been awarded two times nationally for his uh, contribution to the scientific development. And for our students, we have about uh, we have about a thousand students enrolled in our uh, in our college, and uh, we have both undergrad students and graduate students. For undergraduate students, like 50% of them after their senior year, they will continue to the grad school. And our college also provides the BS, MS, PhD success, uh, successive studying program for students who are really interested and talented in scientific research. So you will have the chance to continue uh, from our uh, undergrad school to our graduate school. And here's this slide. Uh, I show some of our international cooperations, including some uh, visiting programs with many other countries, and also our two plus two dual, uh, degree program with the uh, University of West Ontario. Uh, and for the third part, I'll give an introduction to our degree programs. And, uh, and uh, of course, uh, here I will only introduce our undergraduate program. And if you are interested to our graduate program, you can send us an email with the address uh, I showed in the first slide. So basically, there are two uh, degree programs you can choose. So uh, they are by engineering and uh, biotechnology. They are both four-year degree programs and uh, the, the required uh, credits for graduation are about the same. And also the language we have uh, we have a requirement of uh, language abilities before graduation, which is uh, at HSK level five, and uh, all our teaching language in these two programs will be in Chinese, uh, and our uh, learning materials that, that given during this class will be in Chinese. 
So, uh, so how to choose between these two programs? I'll give a brief introduction about the, uh, the things they're in common and the things they're different. different. Uh, the first, uh, uh, some common things that they have uh, the, some of the same uh, prerequisite curriculum, su such as Chinese national condition, calculus, physics, HSK, and uh, English. And some of uh, the general education curriculum will be uh, the same, uh, such as orientation. Uh, so the, in this case, our orientation will be given as a class. So, uh, yeah, so I think it will be a more system, a systematic way for you to uh, get a better know about our college and uh, to our country. And some of our fundamental curriculum, such as math, chemistry, biochemistry, they will be both taught in those two majors and uh, two programs. And uh, for some uh, professional curriculum, such as bi uh, microbiology, genetic engineering, they will be both given uh, in, in these two majors. Uh, so uh, what, what's the difference between uh, these two programs, bioengineering and biotechnology? Basically, they are uh, focusing on uh, different, different areas for for bioengineering, it is more emphasized on the engineering and the industrialization. And uh, as, uh, so in this case, there will, be some, there will be some specialized courses such as physical chemistry, uh, unit operation, uh, bioseparation, reaction engineering, fermentation engineering, equipment and plant design. All those uh, classes, uh, all those curriculums after you taken, you will have a better understanding in the field of engineering. And uh, for biotechnology, it's more emphasized on the fundamental, fundamental biology. So it will have some specialized courses such, such as physiology, cytobiology, my, uh, molecular biology, and genetics. So here I list some uh, core curriculum of these two programs. For example, by engineering, we have those fundamental courses uh, biochemistry and microbiology, and some specialized curriculums in the field of engineering, such as genetic engineering, principle of biotechnology, bioengineering equipment, and bioseparation. And some of the courses you can see it is awarded, uh, awarded nationally and uh, pro uh, provin uh, provincially. So for the, for the program of biotechnology, uh, here are some of its core curriculum. You can see that it's, it is more focused on the fund, fundamental biology. So here in the end, I will give a brief introduction about how your campus life will be in our college. That, uh, we all know that uh, China is, uh, China is uh, uh, very unique in its culture and uh, national scenery. So we really hope you can use this chance not only to uh, achieve your academic goal, but also to enjoy this beautiful country. Uh, so here, uh, if you entered our program, you will be studying in two of our beautiful campus. One is located in Hangzhou, which is our Pingfeng campus. You will be spending your freshman year there. And this campus is also, uh, will also be holding some of the matches in the coming Asian games next year. And uh, the other, uh, the other is our new campus uh, just opened last year, uh, which is our Mokanshan campus located in Dechin. Our new campus is located with the most advanced uh, facilities, and it is also very beautiful. So uh, you can see here is just some picture I took outside of my office window. And uh, if you really walk around uh, this campus in this season, you can see that there is a central lake uh, Central Lake in this campus, and you can see all the blooming lotus, uh, lotus in this in this lake. So, uh, in the city of Hangzhou, so in in the city of Hangzhou, that uh, where our Pingfeng campus is located in, it is the most uh, developed city in China. It is also known as the National Garden City, since uh, since one of the most famous national parks, the Western Lake is located at the center of the city. And it is also unique for its green tea called Longjing, which is, uh, which is exclusive for the, uh, for the emperors in ancient years. And now you, really you can take you can try to taste, uh, taste, uh, taste this tea and it is, it is called the spring of Hangzhou. And for the, uh, for the silk, for the silk produced in Hangzhou, it is also the best, uh, it also the best in China. 
And for our, uh, for our second campus, um, uh, the Mogaishan campus located in Dechin. Dechin is uh, known about its uh, mountain Mogan, which is about 30 minutes driving from our campus. Mountain Mogan is named after two salt masters named Ganjiang and Mo Yi, who casted the, the uh, entail, who casted the two sharpest swords uh, in this place. And for our college, we will host some activities every year for our native student and also our international students. Uh, for example, table tennis match, we know that uh, in China, everyone plays table tennis. And also our college sports game, which will be held every year. And uh, also we'll hold parties for our, spring, uh, for our spring festival and also for our New Year Eve. Uh, that uh, and for our international students will hold orientation and graduation ceremonies uh, for you. So in the end, I want to play a video uh, recorded by one of our international students. Uh, he really wants to uh, welcome you to our beautiful college. Hello, 大家好,我是博洋,来自美国西弗吉尼亚州。现在在中国杭州是浙江工业大学生物工程学院生物工程转业的一名学生。欢迎大家来报考浙江工业大学生物工程学院。And uh, welcome to Hangzhou and welcome to our beautiful new Deqing campus. Bye bye. Okay. So, so in the end, I, uh, I really want to welcome you to our new campus and uh, 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 not really our new campus, to our college, to our college and to our university. Uh, so hopefully we can, uh, our college, uh, our, our programs are attractive enough to, uh, get you, uh, to get you enrolled in the, in the coming four semesters. So thank you very much. And uh, later, our Dr. Uh, Wang and Dr. Ge will be uh, hosting this session and ask questions if you uh, if you have, and you can just type uh, in the in the chart uh, in in the chart window. Oh, oh, you uh, you can you can speak as well. Okay. So okay, I'll close this sharing. Uh. If you if you if you have any question, you can uh, open your microphone and uh, just ask. <clears throat> Okay. Hello. Hello. Uh, it, if 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 uh, if the microphone doesn't work so well, you can just type in the window so we can see your questions. So can you hear us? Yeah. 
Can you hear us?
Hello, can you hear me? Hello, how are you? Uh, my name is Hu Zhongting. Uh, I have my English name. My English name is Justin. Uh, a teacher working in College of Environment, Zhejiang University of Technology. The short name is ZJUT. Uh, don't worry, I just only have one person who doesn't like the views. Uh, College of Biology have three persons. So if you want to ask something, you can ask me, can interrupt me uh, as you want. So on behalf of College of Environment, welcome to CJUT. Welcome to Hangzhou China. In my previews, I will show you something, uh, what we are working in in my school. And I would like to show the welcomes to Hangzhou city, uh, Zhejiang province. Uh, this is my purpose for this time. If you want to ask more about the knowledge or some courses, I will show you something English uh, information. But after that, if you want to know more, you can connect uh, with College of Environment or co uh, contact with me uh, anyway. So uh, if you want to uh, study, uh, uh, if you want to study in a city or a, uh, or a country, you must be want to know something about this, this, this city's culture or some food uh, culture, something like this. So my story started with from the home.
Hello. Can you hear me? Let me try one more time. So how about now? How about now? Can you hear me, please? Yes. Okay, okay. So uh, 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 let me...
Hello. Hello. 
can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Your program is so excellent for
Hello. 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 Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, great. Sorry about the about the internet. Um, okay, let's start to answer your question. Okay, someone is asking, I want a full scholarship uh, for mechanical engineering or software engineering. Okay, these two programs are available for international students. We have the programs taught teaching in English and the scholarships are also available for the programs. Um, sorry that uh, we don't have biotechnology uh, in English this year. Maybe next year we're gonna open this program. Uh, someone is asking the tuition standard for the programs. I think you can um, check our official website to know the details of the tuition standard and the programs. Uh, someone is asking uh, if I can apply for uh, or university, if you don't have HSK. Uh, for English programs, mm, HSK is not uh, a must. Um, but for Chinese programs, um, HSK4 is required if you apply for the undergraduate program teaching in Chinese. Automobile and sorry, we don't have this program, automobile engineering. Yes, we have uh, programs, PhD programs. Uh, you can check our website. Uh, someone is asking the registration notice was sent to me this week. Mm -hmm. Did that go hard for me to go? Yes, yes, please. Uh, you can uh, go and pay the tuition before the registration date. Mm. Uh, right now, the uh, programs, the PhD programs, biotechnology, uh, I think it's only available for uh, Chinese. Chinese uh, language. So we're gonna miss up. Uh, yeah, uh, scholarships, like I said, uh, are available for all the programs, bachelor, master, PhD. The result of CSC, CSC scholarship, uh, I don't think it's uh, come out now. Oh, oh okay, it, it, it's already out. Um, if you didn't get our course, it means you didn't get the scholarship. You can prepare for the next year.
You still cannot hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, okay, great. Okay, thank you. Results, uh, do we have a connection from... Oh, sorry, we don't have medicine. Uh, okay, how much we will pay this year? Uh, Oh, we have environmental engineering in English uh, undergraduate program, which you can apply. And you have, if you have any question about the program, you can ask uh, Professor Hu, who just show you the presentation. Let's do environmental Uh, the GUT scholarship is uh, for you know all the programs. Not just the program. Computer science. We have computer science and technology uh, English program, undergraduate program. An elaborate. Uh, if you are inside China, you're gonna come to study in our campus. So yes, you, you have the chance to go to the uh, lab. I want to do it. Bio uh, engineering. I think this year we only offer this program in Chinese. Do you have any question for uh, professors who just gave us the presentation? Professors from College of Environment and the College of Biotechnology and Bioengineering. How can I get admission to study China? Mm. Yes, you can do the application online. Oh, someone is asking for the contact from of the professors. Mm. If it's convenient, uh, professor, you can leave uh, your contact on our chat box. Mm. Uh, 
Uh, yes, we accept uh, senior high school from Philippines. Uh, if you want to do a transfer from another university in China, you can send us your transcripts of your the first year or second year to our email address. Yes, uh, you can apply for the scholarship uh, master's program. Sorry, we don't have public health. Yeah, applications are available for uh, students all over the world. Uh, sorry, we don't have this program English translation this year for international students. Okay, um, I'm gonna share uh, the contact of our university. This is our contact, uh, phone number, email address for admission, email address for scholarships, and uh, this is our uh, official website for the application where you can do the application online. And these are the social media platforms which you can follow. Okay, you can take a picture or screenshot. Yes, I'm sorry about the uh, technique problems today. So if you have any question, you can just send us the email. Okay. Oh uh, yes, we have business management for undergraduate and uh, postgraduate program. Okay, so about to other programs and uh, other scholarship information, you can check our website and uh, send us an email if you still have any question, okay? Um, okay, thank you for being here today. I'm sorry again for the internet problem, okay? If, uh, if there is another uh, information sections in the future. I hope that uh, you can join us next time. Okay. Okay, thank you for being here today. And welcome to study at CGUT.